Hey, welcome to Cooking with Papa P. Today we're gonna make stromboli. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's kind of a rendition of a pizza. It's got all the same ingredients as one, but it's shaped different, as you can see. This one I call my porchetta stromboli. It's got all different types of pork delicacies inside of it. And then this one here is my Florentine stromboli, which is spinach, some mushroom, artichoke hearts, and lots of cheese. Hang out, let me show you how to make this great dish. Oh, one more thing. In efforts of building my subscriber base, I'm giving away this Papa P's Pizza Peel. Uh, once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the drawing and pick a winner and I'll ship this off to you. So please go ahead and subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna start getting the Florentine filling ready for the Stromboli. I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil to my pan, which is kind of hot right now, which is what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some of these uh, uh, vegetables here. Got some garlic. I'm gonna slice it as fine as possible. Fries up a lot better, releases a lot of flavor. So once that's all done, I'm going to have to put that in the pan. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of butter. Let that fry up a bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and chop up uh, some mushroom. that to the pot there, let that cook up a bit. Get my wooden spoon here. Yeah, we want to cook the veggies before we put them in our, uh, I guess a rendition of a pizza. You know, it's a stromboli. It has all of the ingredients that a pizza would have, or uh, some pizzas would have. And uh, it looks uh, and tastes a little different. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this all sauteed real nice. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some of these artichoke hearts. I'm gonna quarter them, and then, once I quarter them, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break them up into that uh, pot there. And let that fry up a bit. Oh man, it smells really, really good. Yeah, we used to make a lot of these strombolis in our day when we were in the restaurant business. These were a very, very popular item. All right, those are looking good. We're gonna go ahead and add the spinach. This is fresh spinach. You wanna put about, uh, yeah, this is probably about four or five cups of spinach. Um, once it's cooked, it really cooks down to basically nothing. So you want to make sure you have plenty of spinach in there. Okay, this is all ready. We don't want to overcook it because it's got to cook some more in the stromboli. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside until we're ready to make the stromboli. Okay, I've got my 16-ounce uh, dough ball that I made yesterday. And uh, it's all ready to... Uh, uh, make pizza or stromboli or calzone, but today of course we're making stromboli. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half And these are going to be two family size strombolis go ahead and Leave that. I'm going to put it over here for right now. So we're going to go ahead and stretch this out evenly We're going to go ahead and put some uh, shredded uh, whole milk mozzarella, 
just a little bit, spread it across there. I call this my porchetta stromboli because it's got all the porks. We've got pepperoni, subrasada, Italian sausage, cabagool, and of course, the prima della of all meats, prosciutto. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start out with uh, the cabocolo and the uh, subrasada, which is a salami. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage. And some pepperoni. And the prosciutto. I'm going to add some more cheese to the top. Nice handful. Maybe a little bit more. Then we're going to take the ends and we're going to fold them over. This is not like most trombolis that you see out there where they take it and they roll it up. It's more like a calzone with a giant hole in the middle. Anyway, we're going to take the corners and we're going to cross fold them and you want to be sure to press firmly on each side so this way it doesn't separate while it's baking. And then we're going to go ahead and cut off the corners to make them more uniform and then spray the bottom of your pan that you're going to bake them in with some non-stick spray. I use olive oil. And then uh, go ahead and place that stromboli on the pan. Okay, let's get the stromboli florentine going. over. There we go. Now I'm going to put some cheese on the bottom here. And we're going to take our spinach mix and put that on top. Nice. Take a little bit of these tomatoes. I diced some Roma tomatoes up. And then some more Mozzarella cheese on top. Cut the corners off, not too much. You don't want to cut into the, uh, the filling. And that's it, now it's ready for the oven. All right, the oven's preheated to 450 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and place these on the middle rack and cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna prepare the garlic butter while the stromboli are cooking. This is what we're gonna baste on the stromboli after they come out of the oven. All right, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. And then I like to use liquid margarine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of this as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and get uh, two cloves of peeled garlic. Pop that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put a pinch of salt in there. But uh, the amount is your preference. And then we're going to go ahead and blend this up for about 30 seconds. This garlic butter really gives the stromboli uh, crust an excellent flavor. Just top that off with a little dried parsley and we're all set to go. It's in the oven for about 18 minutes. And remember that each oven varies in temperature. Um, you know, I start at 10 minutes and then I try to, um, you know, stay on top of it to make sure it doesn't burn. We want a golden brown consistency. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. I think we got it. That's the stromboli. Okay, I'm gonna try the porchetta one. Good that. Wow, looks really, really good. Look at that. What are you trying, honey? I'm trying my porchetta. Let me try it. Stromboli. Very good.
to find out in 20 years look. <laughs> you look good, baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Delicious. She caught me off guard on that one. Exactly. Don't delete it. I'm not. 